Hey everybody, Captain Keith here with Marine Max with Jim McCown from Ray Marine. Hey Jim, word on the street is that you can fly a drone with the Ray Marine Axiom system. That's true. Um, the Axioms with Lighthouse 3, uh, they can actually control the DJI Mavic Pro uh, in flight. Uh, we have a whole UAV app uh, inside of Axiom. It allows you to see everything the drone sees while it's in the air. Uh, you can launch from the boat. You can touch to fly just by touching right on the electronic chart. Uh, it's a really, really nice tool to have on board any boat. All right, so now Jim and I have made our way up to the helm. We've got the Raymarine Axiom system here. We've got the home screen pulled up with the apps on here, and we've got the drone, the UAV apps here. Uh, where are we going to go from here? Sure, so the UAV app uh, is part of Lighthouse 3. Um, we can show it two different ways. Um, we can show it full screen, or we can split it with our navigation chart. That's how we're going to look at it here. Uh, just to kind of give you a layout of what's going on, um, the left side is our Navionics chart. Uh, there's our boat down here at the bottom. Right. Now, as soon as the drone launches, the moment it lifts off the deck, we're going to get a second icon on the chart for the drone. And it'll always show us uh, where we are in relation to the boat. It allows us to do some of the cool touch to fly options too. Over on this window, we're getting the live video feed uh, from the camera gimbal uh, mounted under the nose of the drone. And I've got some different uh, status indicators here. This is all my signal strength for GPS and remote control and battery. Uh, this allows me to tilt the camera gimbal up and down while it's in flight right. so I can look around. I can record video, take a snapshot. And then over here, I get some flight stats. Uh, distance from the boat, the drone's speed. Uh, right now, this is actually the boat and the drone moving together. Right. Uh, and it's height. Uh, so right now, we're sitting on the ground. So I've also got a menu over here. And here's where the, uh, the real fun happens the takeoff button. So I can touch the button right here and launch the drone into the air. Um, a secondary way I can do it is this mode called fish on. And what fish on is for is, uh, you know, you get hooked up on the big fish. Everybody's running around right. scrambling, trying to get you squared away to reel that fish in. Right. Um, we can, with a single touch, uh, launch the drone. It'll give us a three second countdown. It'll take off and then it'll automatically orbit the boat to record the, the action of bringing that big So you can have that preset, so then when it, when it strikes, you're fishing a, a marlin or a, or a tarpon or whatever, yep. up it goes, up and it's it gonna goes. take video of you fighting the fish. Exactly, yeah, and it's all ready to go. Cool. So uh, let's see about getting this in the air. Let's do it. All right, we're ready to launch. Uh, one of the things when you're flying drones, you always wanna be uh, aware of what the wind is doing. Uh, so we've actually got the wind at our stern, so as the drone lifts off, if we get a puff or a gust, it's actually gonna blow it out over the water as opposed to back towards the boat. So we're ready to go here. I'm gonna go up into my menu and I'm gonna hit the takeoff button. Uh, confirm, yes, here we go. And we're in the air and rolling. So we're getting a live feed uh, from the drone and we're getting our icon up here on the chart so we can see exactly where the drone is in relation to the boat. Now, why did the drone only go to 54 feet here? So there's actually some parameters in the software where I can set uh, preferences for how high I want it to uh, rise after okay. takeoff. Makes sense. Yep, depending on the type of boat you have, if you've got a tuna tower or big antennas or a mast, um, we wanna make sure that the drone is gonna be able to clear whatever the tallest aperture is on the boat so it doesn't crash into it. So that's actually a setting in the software that we configure. So I set it for 50 feet on this boat just to give us plenty of room. On screen here, I've got some flight controls. So for example, if I wanna fly the drone uh, out and away from the boat, you can see on the chart window there on the left, the drone is flying out and away and let's spin it around. So this actually draws a line like a man overboard type. Uh, yeah, it is very similar to that. Yep, it's uh, kind of like a rubber band, if you will. Right, okay. And uh, yeah, it always keeps the icons connected so we can see uh, exactly what's going on control my camera gimbal a little bit. Let's start rolling some video. Now let's say we want to bring the drone back. Um, it's actually very simple. Axiom continuously tells the drone where the boat's located, so it always knows where to come back to. Okay. So up here in the menu, I just open it up. I say return to the boat. Confirm, yes. I get a little chirp out of my controller, which is still connected, but it confirms that the system is coming home. All right, so we're gonna uh, bring it aboard. So uh, here we go. Sometimes uh, you can land it on deck. That's what we're gonna try to do today. Other times it's easier just to hover and uh, catch it while it's in the air. But the wind is actually not too bad right now.
We're down. <laughs> That's awesome. Jim, I gotta tell you, that was really freaking cool, man. I love that. So uh, if people wanna get some information about this, what's the best way to go about it? Um, we've got all the specs and details on raymarine.com. You can learn all about Axiom, Axiom UAV app, and we've got links to the DJI Mavic Pro as well. Outstanding, man. Raymarine.com, marinemax.com. Swing by one of your local Marine Max stores. See you guys out on the water. Let's go fly this thing again. Let's try it again.